hello friends welcome to vsp unity as we have said earlier vishwam computers is now associated with vsp unity in order to provide you the important questions of computer subject right in our today's session we are going to discuss the e-commerce subject important questions which is of fifth semester bcom final year okay and now in today's session we are going to discuss about the important questions of e-commerce in a unit wise manner okay let me discuss the important questions of e-commerce this is the first unit from the first unit you people will be having the questions like briefly explain about the importance of e-commerce this is a general topic but you have to go through your material at least once so that you people will be writing in your own way means to say that this question means that how e-commerce is important in today's session that is what the question is you people could write them in an oral manner but in order to write something you should know about it so go through your material it is very easy and you people can write on your own that is what the first question is and the next question that we are having is briefly explain advantages and disadvantages and limitations of e-commerce see nowadays we are using so many platforms which are providing the e-commerce and we will we will be definitely knowing the advantages and we will be having the disadvantages too and you people will be facing some problems while you are purchasing the products from e-commerce platform so those will become your advantages and disadvantages as i said you earlier in order to write them in detail you should go through your material once okay so that you people could answer them in a well manner see if you are writing it in oral way then you people may miss few points in order to get good marks you need to mention all the points which you have studied in your academic syllabus so the next question is write about the applications of e-commerce wherever you are using the e-commerce that will become the applications of e-commerce so we will be using this e-commerce platform onto the multimedia client and server architecture video servers transport delivery a lot of uh, business platforms are there where we will be using the e-commerce okay just you need to mention them all one by one so that your answer will complete for this question okay and the next question that you are having is write about different types of e-commerce that are available in e-commerce means to say that you people might have come across with the term called b2b b2c and b2c and b2b and next one is consumer to consumer c2c okay you people will be having different kind of uh, e-commerce platforms which you which are available and you people might have a red also it is very important question for you people for the external and you people will be having non-business e-commerce intra-organizational e-commerce you need to explain them briefly the types of e-commerce that you know or as the classification of e-commerce that you people know okay this is what your fourth question is and the fifth question that you are having is explain e-learning and mobile commerce these are the one of the applications of your e-commerce where you people will be learning something by using the e-commerce platforms and where you people will be doing the business by using the mobile applications mobile commerce i can say okay about that you need to write this will be the last topic for your first unit i think so just go through that so that you people could answer them in a well manner and the next question that i could add for the first unit is um i can say that will come in the next lesson that is uh, about the business model that i'll discuss in the next one okay this is what your um important question for uh, your uh, e-commerce i can say okay i hope it is clear to you people and in the second unit see the second unit second unit is consisting of three more uh, important questions the first question that you are having is discuss about the architectural framework of e-commerce means to say that whatever the architectural framework that you are having the parts of architectural framework that you need to discuss about them okay and it's very important as well as easy question the framework will be consisting of functionalities like application services brokerage and services and uh, you people will be having interfaces support layers middleware services network infrastructure secure and messaging structured document these will be there in your 
architectural framework you need to explain them in brief so that you will be getting good marks and so many people will be asking that you people will be having only one and a half hour notes sir how could we answer them in a longer way but see as per the as per the marks as per the time you need to uh, project your answer i can say right as per your time if you are writing it in a longer way if it is not sufficient make that simple so that your answer will be clear and you people will be getting good marks okay and the next question that we are having from the first second unit is protocol define the protocol and explain how tcp ip and smtp and all other things will work over here shttp okay already you people might have come across with the uh, with these particular terms in your classes itself that is transmission control protocol internet protocol simple mail transfer protocol and secure http uh, hypertext transfer protocol you people will come across with the terms like uh, working protocols i can working style of each and every protocol i can say and what is protocol you need to define them in this particular question so go through your tcp ip http shttp smtp they may ask all the questions at once or else they may ask two protocols for each question like tc explain tcp ip has smtp or else they can ask you tcp ip and http like that they may give you in the combination of two questions i can say okay this is one of the important question from your second unit you could expect the protocol like tcp ip http or else smtp http smtp and shttp you people could expect and one more important question from your second unit is your third question that is various encryption techniques various encryption techniques you people might have come across with the term called uh, encryption ma that is a secured transmission of data will be done by using the encryption decryption techniques okay and here they want you people to discuss about the techniques that you people will be imposing in order to get the encryption encryption is a procedure where you people will be um, transmitting your plain text into what cipher text and how you people will be using the techniques different types of techniques will be there and types of encryptions will be there like symmetric and asymmetric encryption just you need to project them and the elements that are needed for your um encryption and decryption techniques that is what you need to project and here you could expect the um, short questions from this particular topic that is what is cryptography what is encryption what is script analysis you people may get questions for your short questions i can say okay and this is what your second unit is and then later you are having the next uh, unit that is unit 3 uh, here i'll discuss it right unit 3 is consisting five more important questions here just i'll take up and okay see the first question that you are having is what is mercantile process model and how it will be working according to the consumer perspective view this is the first question that you could expect and lot of time it has been repeated for the external question and i hope so for this time also it will come okay and before that i can expect the question from the uh merchants view also merchants purpose perspective view also you could expect both of them like explain the mercantile process model from the merchant as well as consumer perspective views and you should see the mercantile process from the both end you people will be having different phases while you are working as a consumer you people will be having different uh, phases while you are working as a merchant that you need to explain them in detail okay i hope so it is clear to you people and i'll go for the next one that is the third question that is legal issues in electronic payment system what it is legal issues in electronic payment system you people will be having lot of issues while you are doing the payments through online you people may lose your data you people may lose your amount you people may lose your account details i can say lot of issues will be there which has to be discussed in this particular case i can say in this particular electronic payment system how you people will be handling the payments that's what the question is okay and you people will be having different kind of ebs systems like smart cards digital cards rls e cash uh, and debit cards credit cards you people will be having so many 
uh, issues associated with it okay that you need to discuss about it and the next question that you are having is e-payment system how you people will be explaining your e-payment rs e-payment system eps you people might have come across this term in the third unit okay this you need to explain in this particular question and the fifth question that you are having from this particular unit is advantages and disadvantages risk associated with e-payments when you are doing the payments electronically how you are having the risk associated with it that you need to explain in your electronic payment system advantages disadvantages and risk associated with them okay explain them in detail as i already told you people while you are reading it from the material you people will be having a longer explanation of risk associated with frauds risk associated with the privacy risk associated with the credit cards guarantee no guarantee you people will be having a lot of issues to be discussed in the risk and advantages that you need to project them on the paper okay so this is your third unit important questions okay and when i'm going for the fourth unit fourth unit is also consisting three more important questions from here just observe here explain about the types of edi explain about the types of edi the first question that you could see from uh, uh, fourth unit is electronic data interchange type edi stands for what electronic data interchange type different kind of types will be there that you need to explain in this particular question you people will be having different standards too okay types of eds should be explained in this particular question so i'll go for the next question uh, that is from the fourth unit this next question that you are having is um sorry okay next question that you are having here is So this is the next question briefly write about the edi applications in business wherever you are using the edi applications so that you need to mention in this particular application simply i can say applications of edi i can say okay this is what the question meaning is sometimes you people may get the question in uh, like this discuss about the applications of edi in business write about the edi applications explain about financial edi and types of financial edis you people will be having the similar answer for these particular questions okay and the next question that you are having from the fourth unit is briefly write about the security and privacy issue private privacy issues in edi that is legal issues will be there while you are executing rls while you are running any electronic data interchange between the parties rs between the applications i can say those should be explained in detail in this particular chapter okay you people will be having um, some legal issues like interchanging the data and providing the standardness and digital signatures providing the privacy issues all this should be explained in this particular question and it is very 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 important question for your fourth unit as i already told you people applications also important questions for your fourth unit okay these are the four uh, important questions from your fourth unit and the next unit that you are having is your fifth unit the last unit from your e-commerce is this okay here you people will be having the questions related to marketing okay the first question that you could expect is e-marketing techniques what are the kind of e-marketing techniques that you are having in your fifth unit those should be explained here okay in detail i can say why because you people will be receiving this question for the long question so that in order to get the full marks you need to explain them in detail so that you will be getting a benefit okay e-marketing technique will be of two types one is passive and aggressive methods where you people will be talking about the search engines where you people will be talking about the solicited targeted uh, emails and interactive sites so many things will be there that you need to discuss here okay and one of the important and foremost question that you people will be getting from the fifth unit is five piece applications of five piece okay these five piece should be explained in detail already you people know about the five piece that is product pricing place promotions and people personalization 
these five piece should be explained in detail so that you will be getting the good marks for this particular question lot of times this has been asked in your question paper so this time also maybe okay and the next question that you could expect from your fifth unit is what do you mean by search engine write about two search engines okay you people might be using the search engines in a regular life like a google search right you people know about the searching techniques and how you people will be searching the data and these will be there in your uh, question so just go through this particular question what is search engine and how you people will be using them and explain any kind of uh, two search engines that is what they are asking you to write so the last question that you could expect from the full fifth unit is explain virtual reality okay what is virtual reality how it is helpful in the e-commerce that you need to explain here i think so okay uh, these are the important question from your e-commerce syllabus i think so and you people could expect uh, some ssl from the second unit that is secured socket layer i haven't mentioned that question that is secured socket layer from the second unit just go through them uh, don't forget it okay and the questions that i could expect apart from this is eft electronic fund transfer electronic fund transfer that you should explain them in detail how you people will be doing the electronic fund transfers okay this question can also be ex uh, expected from uh, your e-commerce and the next question that i could expect apart from this is impact of e-commerce on business model impact of e-commerce on business model this question can also be expected from your e-commerce okay impact of e-commerce impact of e-commerce on the business models okay so i think so hardly you people are having 20 20 to 22 questions as i have discussed just go through them don't miss any questions and say that i haven't got this question go through all these questions so that you will be not missing any question that need to be answered in your question paper so that you will be getting good marks okay and here at the below you people could see um i have given some short questions also but i don't want to explain them because you can expect any for uh, any kind of question for four marks why because uh, see ma'am you will be having so many choices in order to give the four marks question why because every topic is a new topic so they can give you any kind of question for four marks i hope so you people are clear with this particular important questions of e-commerce if there is any question that you are not getting it so just let me know by your comments so that i can make a video onto it i'll explain in detail so that you will come to know the topic in an easiest way i hope so it's clear for you people right now i'll say only one thing it has taken a lot of time to upload a new video into the vsp unity which is related to computer sorry for that uh, I may take long time, but definitely I will be making videos which are useful for you people. Okay. Thank you from Vishwam Computers and VSP Unity. If you are subscribed, it's okay. Uh, let your friends to subscribe this channel if you are liking this particular videos. Okay. And that's it for now. See you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.